good morning students in this class we are going to derive an expression for refraction through spherical surface refraction through a convex spherical surface this is what we are going to derive there is n2 by v minus n1 by u which is equal to n2 minus n1 by r n2 by v minus n1 by u which is equal to n2 minus n1 by r where n1 and n2 are refract indices of the two media v is image distance and u is object distance and r is radius of curvature for this let's consider a, a convex spherical surface now this is the principal axis and this is four and this is a spherical surface a medium n2 and medium n1 such that n2 is greater than n1 let's keep an object on the principal axis that will be the object a ray is emanating from object and striking at the spherical surface at this point m and we will try a normal such that it has to pass through a center of curvature a c as the ray is traveling from a rarer medium to denser medium it has to bend towards the normal it bends towards the normal and this is where we get the image i o to p it is taken as object distance u p to c is taken as radius of curvature r and from o to i it is image distance uh, v let the angle between incident ray and the normal drawn is angle of incidence i the angle between refracted ray and the normal drawn is angle of refraction r let this angle be alpha and this angle be beta and this angle be gamma as the rays are paraxial for small aperture we can consider this line to be a straight line we can consider this straight line so we know that we know that from Snell's law sin i is equal to sin i by sin r is equal to n2 by n1 n1 sin i it is equal to n2 sin r as the rays are paraxial the angles are made small so the angle made up small so for small angle approximation you can say that sin i nearly equal to i sin r nearly equal to r so this equation becomes n1 n1 i is equal to n2 r let's say this is equation number 1 let's consider this triangle triangle m o p for this triangle m o p we can take tan alpha tan alpha which is equal to tan it is equal to opposite by adjacent right so tan alpha is equal to m p by o p and in the similar way tan beta tan beta is equal to m p by p c and tan gamma which is equal to m p by p i <coughs> For as angles are small, as the angles angles are small, as the angles are small, tan alpha nearly equal to alpha, tan beta nearly equal to beta, tan gamma nearly equal to gamma, and this equation. Then this equation becomes alpha which is equal to m b by o p, beta which is equal to m b by p c, gamma which is equal to m b by p i. <coughs> Let's say this is equation number three.
It's considered this triangle. Triangle M O C. Triangle M O C. Exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angles. That is I, which is equal to alpha plus beta from triangle M O C. I, which is equal to exterior angle alpha plus beta is interior angle. So I is equal to alpha plus beta. Similarly, from triangle, let's consider the triangle. Triangle M I C. Triangle M I C. Beta which is equal to R plus gamma. So you can write R which is equal to beta minus gamma. Let's say this is equation number 4 and let's say this is 5. Substitute equation 4 and 5 in equation number 1. So you get N1 into alpha plus beta which is equal to N2 into beta minus gamma. So expand this. N1 alpha plus N1 beta which is equal to N2 beta minus N2 gamma. Take N2 gamma left hand side and move N2 N1 beta to right hand side. So this equation becomes N1 alpha plus N2 gamma which is equal to N2 beta minus N1 beta. So let's say equation number uh, 6. Now substitute the values of alpha, beta, gamma in equation 6. So N1 MP by OP plus N2 MP by PI plus, sorry, is equal to N2 beta MP by PC minus N1 into MP by PC. So you can cut all the MP on both hand side. So this equation becomes N1 by OP plus N2 by PI which is equal to N2 minus N1 by uh, PC. Let's say this equation number uh, 7. Now apply new Cartesian sign convention. Apply sign convention. So we know that OP from the diagram, OP is nothing but object distance. So it is taken as negative. So it is taken as negative. So minus U. Similarly, PI. P is nothing but image distance, it is taken as V, so it is in the right hand side, so it becomes O V. Similarly, P C, it is radius of coverage, it is also right hand side, so it is taken as R. So apply these values in equation number 7. So this equation becomes. Equation becomes. N1 by minus U plus N2 by V which is equal to N2 minus N1 by R. So just rearrange this. N2 by V minus N1 by U which is equal to N2 minus N1 by R. This is the relation. Suppose if n1 is uh, a, if the medium 1 is a, so n1 becomes 1 for a reflect this is 1. If the second medium is plus or any other medium, so we can take this n2 as n. So this equation becomes, let's say as a, this equation becomes n by v minus 1 by u which is equal to n minus 1 by r. This equation, let's say as 9. So, equation number 9, when any of the medium is, this is the medium 1 is a, so this equation becomes n by v minus 1 by u, which is equal to n minus 1 by r, or else n2 by v minus n1 by u, which is equal to n2 minus n1 by r. 
Thank you.